This garden space started in 2020 with a vision to create a hillside garden with a pathway cutting across it and connecting to other gardens and then having steps to walk down from. Now, this video is not about creating a perfect garden or landscape the first time because the garden is always evolving. It's more about having a rough vision or the bone of it initially and through time have the space speak to us in combination with our tastes and perspectives as to how it wants to be carved out, molded and shaped over time to get the result we wanted at the time. Because as we know, a garden is never done. Plants were initially planted, some stayed, some died, some were moved out as can be seen throughout the video. In 2021, rocks were added mostly to the top layer to help with erosion. As time went by, the, this layer of rocks created a kind of a retaining wall. That's when the space spoke to me that a natural retaining wall could be created. So I set out to create it. The retaining wall space would have some rocks and plants mixed in, and there would be rocks at the top and bottom layers. Together, they would serve as a living retaining wall. The retaining wall was one of the major additions. However, there were other minor edits that were made, like changing out the wood in the steps and replacing them with rocks. I hope you were able to see all the subtle changes as we move from 2020 to 2024. Before we move on, I do want to say that I am not a professional garden designer and that my husband did help with the removal of the grass with the tractor in the beginning and at another time using the tractor to add more soil. If he did not help, I would be implementing the sheet mulching technique and using the wheelbarrow. The whole process would have taken a lot longer, but it could be done with one person. If I can do it, you can do it too. Winter 2022-2023 was very harsh. Because of that, some of the plants died off, like the rosemary. Because the rosemary died off, it left a gap along the border, along one side of the borders, which changed the dynamic of this garden space. Also, 2023 saw the removal of a Bradford pear tree and all the roses here. Nevertheless, in 2023, the garden spoke again and more pathways were created around the lower layers, allowing easier access to weeds and walk through and around. Also, the addition of the chartreuse color was added on the top. By adding these yellow foliage plants, it added another dimension at the top layer. It needed this impact of color after losing a tree that added vertical interest. Now, in 2024, this is what this space looks like. It has become a garden space with different unique features, all in one area. Retaining wall feature, rock garden feature, terrace garden feature, walking steps feature, pathway feature, four season of garden interest feature, and chartreuse color feature. Although having a professional designer may have helped to get to this sooner, but I think it would have taken away from my creative journey as a gardener. As gardeners, we love to create. I always look at my gardens as living paintings. Do you do the same as well? As time goes on, as our tastes and perspectives change, as our physical and mental ability change, as the economy change, etc., we may continue to make edits like adding some things, taking some things away, erasing some things, etc. And that's okay because the garden is never done. That's why we have to remind ourselves to enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey. I would love to hear about your gardening journeys as well. It's -a me, the Mario. Thank you so much for the watching this the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that we don't miss out on any more content.